folks, welcome back to Rod's VW Garage. Bienvenido de nuevo al garaje. Y aquí estamos trabajando de nuevo. Este es el episodio 7. Episode 7. And this morning, we're going to start working on the last bit. Vamos a estar trabajando en lo último que nos queda para, para, este, para sacar el buggy. So the last bit we got to finish the buggy. So let's do a recap right quick. Okay. Here it is. So the recap, we have done most of the chassis work is done. So uh, we're missing a couple parts and here they are. This is a tie rod. Este es el terminal de ese lado. That terminal right there, the tie rod for that. And this right here, I'm sure are the pins for bushing and pins for the uh, for the uh, um, spindles. So lo bushing de, 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 de lo buje. So that's it. After I do that, I'm going to grab the body and set it on on the chassis so después de esto vamos a coger el, 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 el la caja del buggy la vamos a poner en el en el <coughs> en el chassis another thing you see down there I, i'm not sure if you can see it right there right there tires es una llanta la goma ya están aquí ya llegaron so I gotta go and take the, the rims over to the tire shop and get them mounted. And uh, that'll be it. I'm gonna put the tires in, put the tires in, and we're gonna drive it out here or we're gonna move it over here. We're gonna put the body on it and we're gonna bring it right back and we're gonna see how it looks at stance. Okay? So, vamos a empezar, que vamos a ponerle el tren delantero a terminarlo. Y entonces, le vamos a poner el body la caja encima y lo vamos a, uh, lo vamos a sacar allá ponerle el body encima ok so stay tuned quédense aquí para ver lo último este va a ser el último episodio del buggy eh, al final de este episodio lo vamos a ver corriendo ok so let's get to it vamos right, a folks, so I just went out and took the tires and the wheels out to get them the wheels were sitting there to get them uh, uh, mounted and I just finished Well, I'm working on the brakes. Just finish the spindles. Terminé la, 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 los bujes, los terminales. Y, y estoy trabajando en los frenos ahora. Y ya estamos en lo último. Vamos a poner los adapters. We're going to get the adapters. And uh, we're almost at the end of, of the chassis here. And uh, I know the chassis is a little, you know, uh, boring now because... I've been working on it for a while. Yo sé que está un poquito aburrido, pero ya estamos en lo último. So, lo que quiero es que, que vean, what I want is for you to see that, you know, there's been progress made. So, after this, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the brakes. Okay? Después de esto, después que terminemos aquí, vamos a, a sangrar los frenos. Vamos, seguimos. Alright people, hey, mi gente. So, ya se le pusieron los tambores. I got the uh, drums in and uh, brakes adjusted and I got everything lined up. So, it's a line and everything. So, it's ready to go. So, now, we're going to move. Este, de, ya que le hice el alineamiento y le puse los tambores y todo, ahora nos vamos a mover a, a sangrar la bomba. So this is bench bleeding the uh, the, uh, the master, okay? So the master cylinder, el, el cilindro maestro aquí. So hay que hay que sangrarlo antes de sangrar las líneas para sacarle el aire que se le queda acumulado. So all we gotta do is get the air that is accumulated inside the master cylinder itself. So when you actually hit the brake. Uh, pedal you can get fluid into the lines if not if you don't bench bleed it si no lo, lo sangra el, el cilindro maestro si no la sangra este no es, se le hace bien difícil llegar el, el, el fluido 
a la paltada. So what I'm gonna do is, I got this little handy dandy uh, uh, fittings right here. It's plastic fittings with a little line. You see the line? Este, tengo estos fittings aquí de plástico que van donde van las líneas y entonces le vamos a llenar de fluido y vamos a bombear hasta que salga todo el aire de aquí adentro. Cuando tú veas que ya está saliendo eh, el aire, el, perdóname, el fluido sin aire, está bien. As, uh, as soon as you see that there's no more air coming out, uh, air bubbles, you're good to go. Now you can put the lines back on there and, and go ahead and start bleeding the brakes, okay? So, all right, so let's go ahead and get Amigo. it. Done. Aquí vamos, ya le eché el fluido y van a empezar a ver que ya está haciendo burbuja. You see, it's making bubbles. So what, what does that mean? It means that the uh, cylinder, all the air in it, is trying to escape. So, so we're going to let it there, leave it there for a second. And... Uh, no more air is coming out. So now, so ahora, lo que vamos a hacer, no, no hay más aire, vamos a poner las tres mangas dentro, aquí, y le vamos a, y vamos a pompear. I'm just going to pump the, the brakes. Ok, here we go. Let's see now. Ok. So ahora, vamos a ver, vamos a pompear. Ok. Están las tres tirando. There's, all three of them are pumping. So that means our master cylinder is bled. All right. Easy as that. All right, let's move on. Okay, folks. Uh, aquí ya tiene freno en el frente. The front, we got brakes. So, so why, por qué, por qué usamos un cilindro maestro de dos este compartimiento? Le explico. Why do we use a, a two circuit, two circuit master cylinder? Because a two circuit, you will have fluid in one chamber at all times. So, for example, for example, if, if, I hit something and this line breaks. It belongs to the front of the, of the car. So this part of the cylinder, or this circuit, o este circuito, se va a vaciar, pero el de atrás todavía va a tener. ¿Vale? Entonces, lo mismo aquí, si se rompe una línea allá atrás, en la, en la, la parte de atrás, se va a quedar el de frente. So, por eso es que se le se le pone uno de dos. Cuando ustedes vean un, un Volkswagen, when you see a Volkswagen with one, let me show you what one looks like. Right here. One. So, this right here will control all four brakes. But if you lose one of the lines, you will lose brakes on the entire car, you won't have any brakes. That's why you don't want the one with the one circuit, you want the one with two, okay? So, quieren uno que tenga los dos y no que tenga uno solo, all right? So, ya los frenos están bien, ahora lo que tengo que sangrar la parte de atrás, all I got is uh, bleed is the rear, and then we will have, we will have Brakes. So, safety. You got the belts, you got the seats, and everything. 
steering we got everything on the steering now we can steer steer back and forward you see it steer back and forth tenemos para para manejar tenemos los cinturones el safety la, la, la seguridad y ahora estamos bregando con los frenos y cuando terminemos con los frenos entonces le vamos a poner la caja encima estamos bien cerca we are very very close very very close when we finish with the brakes we're gonna go ahead and get that uh get that body on it and just start running the wiring get it started I just took the tires in, so hopefully we get the tires tomorrow, and and that that'll be it. And this uh, will be almost. We just got to finish the fuel system, el, el sistema de, de gasolina. Hay que terminarlo, el tanque, ponerle el tanque al frente para que corra la. Y ya con eso está, okay? Vamos All right, folks. Uh, here we are back, and that's my buddy Ori. El Ori está hanging out, está con nosotros hoy. Este. So, I just completely, 100% finished the frame, the chassis. I just got the uh, the rubber in. Ya le puse la, el empaque, la goma. Está todo puesto. Everything is good. I just put a little bit of reinforcement uh, bolts here. So, it makes the, uh, the floor uh, better and sound. Le puse un tornillito ahí para que el piso se sienta más fuerte. Y nada, ya le puse el cable de la, el cable de el conta, el contamilla. And uh, that's it. Done. So tomorrow. Uh, Angel's coming to help me out. So I'm gonna grab the, the body and put it on the on the chassis, go and get the tires and get the tires in and set on the ground and see the stance on it and and start doing all the uh, all the wiring so y mañana le vamos a poner el, el chasis que Ángel viene para ayudarme y le vamos a poner el chasis y vamos a buscar la llanta y lo vamos a poner y lo vamos a poner en el piso para ver Eh, los frenos, Ángel me va a ayudar mañana a terminar de sangrarlo. Me falta más que la parte de atrás. Uh, everything is good. Todo, todo está bien. Everything is done. And hopefully by the end of the week we can drive this thing around. Uh, esperamos que para el fin de la semana podamos, podamos manejar el, 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 el buggy. Ok. So, nos veremos mañana. people so my buddy angel just left and uh here is the buggy and we got the body on the on the chassis uh, mi amigo angel se fue y aquí tenemos me ayudó a ponerle el body en el chassis este le sangramos los frenos we bled the brakes we got the body on the chassis we got it all all the bolts, le pusimos todos los tornillos, everything is good to go. So, and this is how it looks, it looks amazing. And I got the wiring out, tengo la, la cablería y vamos a trabajar en eso mañana. Uh, tuve, me fui con Ángel, I just went out with Angel and we took out on a ride on the uh, 57. And uh, it just rides so smooth. Love it. Love that car, man. Me encanta. Man. Me fui con Ángela a dar una vuelta en el 57 a almorzar. Pero, anyways, este, aquí estamos. Y todo se ve muy bien. Uh, estamos esperando las, las llantas. Waiting for the tires. And, and, and like I said, tomorrow, we're going to go ahead. Oh, that's my buddy, Odie. And tomorrow we're just gonna crack down on the uh, wiring harness and get all the wiring put in. So mañana le vamos a poner la la cablería. So nos vemos mañana, okay? All okay. right. First things first, we're gonna work on the wiring 
we got to do insulation. So we're going to insulate the main wiring. So vamos a insular la, la cableería desde el frente hacia atrás, completa. Eso es lo primero que vamos a hacer. Este, porque no queremos que nada toque y haga un corto. We don't want a short circuit. So insulate and then we're going to feed it through the body, through here. And we're going to get it inside the buggy. Okay. So lo vamos a meter por aquí abajito. Por aquí abajo. Y la vamos a sacar allá al buggy. All right, folks. Uh, here we're on. Uh, uh, it's the next morning. And I've been running uh, wires. So I got the uh, steering shaft in. I got the uh, or steering column in. I got to get it secured. I got the fuse box. Tengo la caja de fusible, la caña del guía, la cablería. Este, le puse insulación, está puesta. Estoy vergando con los switch. Pero estaba vergando aquí atrás. I was working back here with the, uh, uh, with the cut-off switch. So it's going to be right there. Estaba trabajando con el cortacorriente y está allá atrás. Este, ya tengo la cablería hasta acá. So... Uh, it's coming along. Está, está, pues, este, donde tiene que estar. Vamos a poco a poco. A ver si la podemos este, terminar. Quizás hoy o mañana la cablería. Voy a poner todas las luces. Voy a coger los grounds. So, let's uh, keep going. Vamos a seguir. Y a ver si le podemos terminar esto. Okay? All right, so, I've been working on the, on the lights. So, I'm going to show you something right quick so I'm almost done well the wiring is done so la la cablería está terminada este, ya está todos los cables tirados uh, all the wires I ran so I just got to come back here and and just uh, position the wires where they go so but in here in here, everything is done. I got a, a negative block. So that's a ground block. So I got all my grounds there. So ahí está toda la tierra. Ahí y allá todo, todo lo, los, este, lo, los positivos. Ah, todas las señales están puestas. So ahora estamos trabajando con, con estos peanuts. El problema de esos peanuts son que son sencillos. Uh, the problem of the uh, peanut lights is that it's, uh, it doesn't have, it, it only has the, the turn signal. So it's got one filament, you see it? One little filament. And I need a two filament. So now I had to take this off. It goes here. So tuve que sacar esto. Que va aquí, así. Voy a sacarlo y voy a ponerle uno de dos. Pero ahora voy a tener que soldarlo ahí. I will have to weld it there. And then I will have a two filament. I will have a two filament. The other problem is that this little, the uh, screws or bolts are short. Entonces, uh, los tornillos son cortitos. Y cuando se ponen aquí no salen, no salen por debajo. So when you put this over here, it won't it won't come out the, the bottom because the fiberglass is really thick. The fiberglass is bien bien ancho. So, pues ahora vamos a tener que alargar los tornillos to lengthen the 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 this little uh, screws here, and then weld the socket. So let's get to it. So here it is. I got it. I welded it, just weld it. I got my two filament, and now I have to run a ground from this uh, little bolt. Gotta run a ground. Tengo que correr un ground porque el, el buggy no tiene ground, pero ahora funciona. Okay, estoy metiendo esto aquí. All right. Vamos a ver si, si, si funciona con, con corriente. Let's see if it works with power. All right, peeps. Uh, we are back again. Eh, mi gente, estamos aquí de nuevo. 
Um, estamos trabajando con uh, la cablería. We're working on the wire harness and we are almost done. Estamos casi terminados con la con la cablería y ya yo le había enseñado y estoy ahora forreando la cablería. Um, I'm getting the wiring, getting it all in a loom. Y estamos casi casi. Hoy vamos a probar la cablería. We're gonna test the, the wiring. And also we're gonna get the tires on. Vamos a ponerle la, la llanta, la goma, los lo aros. Y, y después de eso, después que le probemos la cablería. Eh, lo vamos a tratar de prender a ver si prende we, after we finish with the wire we're gonna try to start it and see how how it, it runs I gotta get the tank in and then after that we get the hood get it secured windshield and then we'll, we'll be done okay so let's get to it vamos a empezar alright folks uh, here we are again and just finished the lighting um So, let me show you, ya terminé las luces, la cablería de las luces, y ya terminé pretty much everything. So, ya tenemos el dash, we got the dash illuminated, and we got the light, that's for the, uh, for the uh, oil, esa es la del aceite. Entonces, tenemos la señal, blinking, señal ahí. Y señala acá. Ok. We got those on that side. Let's see this side. Oh, this one is not connected yet. Esa no está conectada, pero esta sí. Ok. Tenemos la de la, de la tablilla. The license plate. And... And here in the middle is the four ways. Eso es lo, los cuatro lados. Okay. So that's that's that. And what else do we have? We got the lights. The luz. Están suelta. Y las luces aquí apagan. Prenden. La luz larga. High beam, It's high beam, low beam. I guess they're backward. That's high beam. Okay, so I gotta switch the, the wires around. Okay. Uh, horn, I will see now. I got this little push button, it's really nice. And it gets illuminated right there with the ground. Nice, huh? And horn. And I got a handy dandy plug. Tengo. Y te dice que tiene más que 11 voltios. 11 volts. But that is a USB port because it's pretty cool to have a USB ports. Lights off. And we got. Let me see. Uh, and then over all this mess, we got starter. Tenemos starter, we got the battery just in there. And we got all the, uh, the wires, todos los cables. So we're done with the wire harness. So now, all I gotta do, todo lo que tengo que hacer ahora es, este, uh, wrap in, in a loom, everything. Tengo que ponerle tape a todo, 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 para correr los cables y que se vea bonito y, y secure so this is how it looks and yeah it's a it's 
it's, it's got a little bit of work, but it's not it's not hard. But you need to know you you sh you need to know what you're doing because if you don't know, it's it's really hard to do it. Oh, uh, so <sighs> no, excuse me. So next time, la próxima vez que me vean en en, en el video, vamos a vamos a ver si lo podemos tender. Okay, next time, uh, hopefully we can, we can start it. And uh, I already showed you the, the cutoff switch for the batteries here. So, we'll just cut the, the switch, the battery power. Ese es para cortar la corriente. Y ya está. Vamos a, vamos a, a tratar de terminarlo para, para encenderlo. Buenos días, mi gente. Good morning, people. Oh, we're still working on the buggy. And I think this week we're going to be done. Yo creo que esta semana vamos a terminar. Este, lo que estamos haciendo hoy, what we're doing today, is uh, finalizing uh, most of the stuff. Vamos a, a finalizar. So, primero que vamos a hacer es, este, tenemos que uh, subirlo de atrás. Por lo menos pulgada y media, two inches. Por lo menos dos pulgadas. We gotta raise the back about two inches. Uh, the stance in the front is good. Se ve bien. Uh, that's uh, good enough. So we need to raise the back because uh, the client wants it uh, raised in the back. Real, little rake. So el cliente quiere que se levante de, de la parte de atrás. Ok, este, lo próximo va a ser vamos a cortar el, el shaft, el el eje de, de, de la, del guía este, la columna la vamos a cortar we're going to cut it about 4 inches because it's way too far way too far so we're going to cut about 2 inches and just lower it a bit vamos a cortarle 4 pulgadas y lo vamos a bajar un poquito and uh, vamos a arreglar el pedal we're going to fix this pedal because it's got a lot of free play tiene un montón mucho juego y no está funcionando como debe so eso hay que sacarlo completo, soldarlo y ponerlo para atrás para que no esté ese juego. We don't want that free play. It's bad. It just, it's just uh, after we mounted, I guess he started loosening up and, and it's got way too much free play. We don't want that. No queremos ese juego ahí. Entonces se le compró el, el extinguidor. Uh, vamos quizás a ponerlo ahí atrás. We're probably going to put it back there. Uh, I don't know yet. So... And, uh, and that's it. That's what we're going to do today. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Terminamos con las luces. All the lights are done. Uh, completely. Mm. I got the sockets. I got that light taken care of. So that's it. Let's go. Let's get it done. All right. So here we are. We cut about five inches. Uh, so the shaft is going to, the steering wheel and the shaft is going to go down five inches. So tiene que meterse cinco pulgadas. So ahora le vamos a hacer replicar esto aquí. Este, we're going to replicate this right here. It's probably going to be easy. Probably going to use a grinder. You know, we're going to cut a slit here. Right there. Slit. And then cut this right here. So vamos a cortar esta línea y después cortamos esto. Uh, yo creo que va a salir fácil. All right, vamos folks. Uh, here it is. Just replicated it. And uh, it looks pretty good. Se ve muy bien, ya lo hice completo, déjame sacarle el tornillo. Ahí está. So, ya está cortada, just cut it, and now we're going to fit it back in on the car. Ahora vamos All a right, ponerla So, en just uh, cut the shaft, and what I did was, I uh, upgraded the, the bolt. So uh, that way, that way we ensure that that will not move. So después de cortarlo, uh, lo, le puse, le hice una ranura y le puse un, un tornillo mucho más grande, este, de 8, uh, de 8 grados eh, y es de 3 octavos. So, es mucho más grande que ese tornillo. Esto no viene, esto no se va a salir nunca. It, it will never come off. It's got a 3 8 uh, little over 3 8 size bolt, and it's a uh, 8 grade. 
and it's gonna be tight. Uh, and this is what I had before. It's original, so it's enough. But when you modify stuff, you you gotta you gotta upgrade it. Cuando tú haces algo y lo cambias, tienes que hacerlo mejor. No puedes hacer cuando tú le cambias la, las cosas originales, tienes que cambiarle, tienes que cambiarle la, los tornillos y ponerle más fuerte. Porque esto original está aprobado, eso no está aprobado. It, it, should, it should be straight. It should be good. I've done it. I did it on, my, on mine. And it worked really well. So uh, that's how we're going to go. And uh, the shaft is already cut and, and uh, done. I fixed the pedal. That was easy. Uh, le arreglé el pedal. Y entonces ahora nos vamos con, vamos a poner el, el, el gearbox, el gear shaft. Este shaft, este, la, la caña del guía la vamos a, a fijar aquí. Vamos a fijarla. Y después de eso terminamos. Ok. Y le ponemos... Cuando terminemos eso, le vamos a poner el, el, el tanque de la gasolina. Vamos a prenderlo. We're going to start it and see if it, if it uh, works well. And then we go ahead and, and get all the uh, gauges in and switches and all the stuff. Front end and the windshield. And then we're going to move to the back because we got we to gotta raise up the suspension a little bit. And that should be it. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, guys, I've uh, been working this uh, today and I thought I was gonna be done, but I was working on on the steering. Estaba trabajando con el, con la, con la caña del guía. Y, y tuve que hacerle upgrade como le enseñé. I just had to do upgrade and put a eight, uh, eight gray bolt. Este, un grado 8 este, tuve que poner este plate aquí had to do this plate right here to cinch it down you see it right there to cinch it down um, had to do a new bar cross bar from here to there una, una barra nueva de aquí allá y le puse una trencilla aquí got a u-bolt there and now it's uh, pretty sturdy it's all loose still but the steering is completed. Está terminado. El, y, y quedó muy bien. Hay que apretarlo. Uh, we just gotta tighten, tighten it up. And uh, it should be, should be good. Uh, but uh, I've been working on. Estaba trabajando con los. Haciéndole uh, los agujeros. Uh, getting the holes done for the uh, for the uh, for the dash and back here I took the pump out and put a new new seal because it was leaking from the pump estaba leaking por la bomba y le puse un empaque nuevo seal nuevo y debería quedar bien también uh, también lo lo subí I raised it, lo subí por lo menos dos pulgadas. Lo subí dos pulgadas y este es el stance. Así es que se va a ver. Se ve muy bonito, se ve muy bien. It looks really good, the stance is uh, working. So, uh, wheels, the wheels are looking nice. Uh, and so tomorrow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the tank in. Tighten everything down, put the hood in, and then the, the glass, the windshield. I get the dash all put in, on a little dash, el, el cristal al frente, y el tanque de gasolina que lo vamos a prender, a ver si lo podemos correr. So that's the update. Uh, so let's uh, just stick with me and we should be straight. We should be good to go here soon. So. Let me get this off. Yeah. I want to see it running. So hopefully either tomorrow, I think tomorrow, 
we're gonna we're gonna hopefully we're gonna push to for to to get it running tomorrow so um so quizás mañana lo corremos ahí los dejo hablamos luego all right folks here's another day and i'm working on the uh, uh the tank Get the tank in. Tengo el tanque de, de nuevo. Buenos días. Este, ya está todo esto apretado. Everything is tight. Esto, la barra está ahí. We got the bar. And we're on the last little bit. Estamos en lo último. Uh, vamos ahora a ponerle el tanque. Y después de que le pongamos el tanque, le vamos a poner el, el bonete. We're going to get the uh, hood after the tank and get the steering steering wheel in and all the, the gauges. And after that, I think we're going to start it. So we'll see. Uh, stay tuned. Stay with me. Let's get this finished. Right, so right. now the finishing touches. So I got the bar. I got the crossbar in. Right there. Tengo la barra que cruza. Y tengo todo, ahora hay que ponerle los tornillos y empezar a poner el dash, el, el, los, los switches. And we gotta go ahead and get the switches and, and all this good stuff. So we're almost there and I gotta go and get some, some bolts. I gotta get some bolts for the, for the windscreen. I don't have any bolts. So also, también tengo que buscar los tornillos de aquí. Y tengo que ponerle, ver cómo puedo asegurar la parte de frente porque no tiene, no tiene tornillo. It has nothing, no tiene nada ahí. So, we'll see. Vamos a seguir y se va a ver bien bonito. La próxima vez que lo vean, lo van a ver con todos los switches, el guía. Y, y hopefully we can get it started. Este, y quizás lo, lo podemos prender. So, vamos a pensar. Bye, guys. So here we are. I put a lot of work into it today. And amigas y amigos, puse un montón de trabajo y está completo. Lo único que le falta es el, el cristal de al frente. The only thing that I, we need is the windshield. Everything else is good to go. I even put the uh, roll bar in it. Um, so. Uh, let's do a, a little recap here. So I did, I went in and it got me a, a uh, outlet for, for um, charging the phone or whatever the case. So le puse un, un outlet, la bocina, la luce, el switch y el, y el contamilla. So I got everything and I got it here. I got it all tuned up, ready to go. So, what we're gonna do now? Lo que vamos a hacer es, uh, vamos a ver si prende y vamos a ver si corre, porque no lo he probado. I haven't tried the uh, gears, so we gotta check. But everything else is good. Let's see. 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 It's charging. It's charging good. All right, let's see. We got the turn signals. Señales. Señales. Estoy trabajando con el carburador, tenemos la bocina, tenemos las luces, las uh, headlights, good to go, good to go, tenemos todas las luces aquí atrás, vamos a buscar las park, park lights, 
Ok. Todo está bien. So ahora vamos a darle. Let's go ahead and give her a little, little ride. Let's see what's the voltage. And we hit it right here. And it tells you 14.4. 14. So vamos a movernos. Let's go ahead and, and move it forward and back and check the brakes. All right. So I just took it out on a test drive and it it runs really nice. Uh, the brakes are a little low, but just gotta adjust probably the drums a little bit more, the shoes, the brake shoes. Uh, tengo que apretar las bandas un poquito porque los frenos están bajitos. Este, pero lo demás no está liqueando, it's not leaking. The timing is good, carburetor is working perfect. Uh, everything here is good, all the lights are working, and we're good. I think we're at 99%. Uh, the only thing I got left is the uh, windshield. I gotta go and get some uh, uh, bolts for tomorrow. Tengo que buscar unos tornillos para mañana para ponerle el, el cristal de frente. Y that's it. Ya terminamos. Uh, quedó muy bien. So, so uh, vamos a, a recoger. I gotta pick all this stuff up. So, Esto va a ser lo último de este video, entonces el próximo video va a ser uh, corriendo el carro. So, uh, next video is going to be giving it a, uh, a nice cruise. I got to get gas and, and then I got to take it out on a, on, a, on a longer ride. So, well, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. No se olviden de, de darle like. Y compartirlo y suscribirse aquí a YouTube y a Facebook. ¿Está bien? Este, se cuidan y hablamos la próxima vez. Ok, bye.